Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's me, Danela. Hope you're all doing well. And for my folks in the UK, hope you're keeping warm because, like, this week the weather has been ah, I've never felt cold like this in my entire life. But, anyways, we are on our way to do a bit of shopping, more specifically to get our Christmas food shopping in. So, I want to go and get my sorrel, get um, and stuff like that. So, I just thought it would be good to like bring you guys along with me for two main purposes for my Jamaicans overseas and like even back a yard to see like what kind of food stuff us living in London can get here and then also just to see like you know cost of living is going up just for you guys to see like what is like a food shop costing these days like how much you need to spend on a weekly basis so yeah hope you guys find this video useful and if you did as usual don't forget to go ahead like comment and subscribe and let me know what I cook what what are you guys cooking for Christmas this year like are you an am person like to be honest I wasn't really into me never know how to cook am I'm not gonna lie, I did not know how to cook ham, but I did one last year and it was so good. So I'm like, you know what? Gotta go try that thing again this year because I gotta turn big chef. But, anyways, <laughs> I'll speak to you guys when I'm in, I think we're going Brixton or East Street Market. I'm not really sure. And when we end up, I'll let you guys know what's what. Is that one okay? Yeah, the biggest size one okay. No. Oh no, sorry. Hi, that's it, Ricky. Sorry? That's everything, man. So I'm just going to try and get some good lookies. I always get this brand. So this is for $1.99. So yeah, I get this one. Just change it up from the regular um, red peas, red kidney peas. What else is here? Let me go and look for the sorrel now. Don't smash it down, right? I didn't do it. Hey, 
you done, Mary? Why are you smashing it? Ah. I all these two for mommy. Ah. I can you all this. Hi, thank you. Hi. <laughs> you okay? Mommy. She said she'll be on the call our mommy. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, try and get clothes. Oh, where are the clothes? <laughs> Ricky, is it clothes? What? Clothes. That we can't see not all. Clothes, the clothes. Whatever clothes. Yeah. Okay, oh, thank you. Big one. And I have the small one. Yeah, uh, the one oh, the small one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Alright, so got that now. Okay. Ricky, you have a basket. Purpose, purpose. Ricky, put these in the basket for me. And then the clothes. They need tin milk? Not tin milk, the coconut milk. Okay. Where's the vinegar? Okay. So I get the pings. Trying to see if I can find a bottle of syrup. Okay, yeah, so it's syrup. Okay, so that is sour flavor. Oh, I've never tried that one before. Alright, you know what? Give it a try. So try the pink sorella. This is all for 29 for that one. Alright. Ricky, you bring me some of these. Alright. So we seasoning. Okay. So get some pimento as well. What else do I need? Okay. I think that's it. How much is for this one? So this one is for $1.99. And the okay. Same price. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Alright, so no marketing. Wait, what's in these? Oh yeah, Ricky. Ricky. Them have the smaller packet one. All purpose. Alright, all this one for me. Alright guys, so I'm finally back indoors now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the food haul portion of this video and give you guys a breakdown of how much everything costs. If I'm being honest, I didn't realize like things were getting this expensive until this video now. You know, sometimes like you're just tapping a card and going along, you're not too conscious of what you're actually spending until like, ooh, you see the receipt. But yeah, I think this would be a good comparison to the last food haul video I did just to see like oh two years later on what's the increase like you know everyone say like oh cost of living cost of living cost of living going up but I think this is like a good comparison to the last video anyways let's get into what we got and give you guys a breakdown all right guys so I'm just going to go ahead and do all the dry stuff first and then afterwards do the other base that I got from the market section on the fresh vegetables and stuff so everything that we got everything that's shown here came to 52 pounds and 63 pence you know them love mark up the jamaican stuff them and if you want the things then you just have to pay the money so let's just get into it i think three of these together is like one pound 20p then i got some clothes i just need this for my hammer so yeah, this one was for £2.49 
um sawfish fillet moness fillet is for two pound eighty nine and then the thing I'm most excited about these last days is the Jamaican sausage grace chicken Vienna sausage they finally have it here now and one thing is for two pound fifty I know like previously I was saying to you like oh we can't get sausage but they have them now and it's a proper proper sausage the real thing it's not like the rubbery one that some of them have so yeah super excited about that there we got a small tin of grace mackerel this is for two pound just because sometimes like i feel like the one tin can do for the three of us so we decided to combine them together the larger tin is for two pound 49 it is a different brand though so this is tropical sun I don't know who Tropical Sun is, but most of the Jamaican stuff here is either Tropical Sun or Dunn's River. Alright, so, pimento. You need pimento. That is for £1.49. I think these two sardines, like one thing is like 60p, two is for £1.20. We got coconut milk as well. This, this one, this is the cheapest one. Sometimes I can be too bothered about what percentage coconut milk is in it so i just take whatever so this is for 79p um the price isn't showing on the aki but i'm pretty sure one thing of aki now is for 5.99 we can keep debating with them because some stores some shops are selling it for 5.49 some 5.99 <laughs> if you want to walk up and down and try to save yourself 50p extra by all means do it or if you tell them like oh look mass john down the road selling it for 50p less you need to take off the 50p some of them will do it and then also got vinegar you know you need vinegar to wash up your meat and all of that good stuff and then i never really drink syrup like well i used to when i was younger but nowadays i don't really drink syrup but i was watching my goodness somebody vlog I can't remember the name right now. Some of the vlog, and they were using syrup to sweep it, sweeten the sorrel. So I'm like, you know, girl, try something. Try, try. I guess it makes sense because it's like sweet now. It's a like syrup. It's the same thing as sugar. So why not? And then got two cup noodles because Danik obsessed with these. But I can't, I can't justify paying more than one pound ninety nine. For a cup noodle that's how much uh, guys somebody comment down below and let me know how much one of these selling for in Jamaica at the moment cuz like one pound ninety nine it seems a bit ridiculous so I only got two one for him one for myself and then did we can put back myself cuz swear to God that I got two of these but I'm only seeing one now anyways the dry soil is for one pound seventy nine. I didn't, I didn't see any of the fresh one. But to be honest, I'm not too bothered about the fresh or dry. I feel like the dry one might be better, just because like I was listening to something and they're like, oh, frozen fruits are best. I'm like, oh, frozen fruits are best because like they pick them and freeze them at the optimal sweetness when they're like just right then it might be the same thing for like dry soil and dry items as well i mean i know about this is what i saw and to be honest it's cheaper one year i got soil and completely forgot about it it rotten waste some money and from then like i'm not too fussed about getting fresh soil then we got carnel this is the fine one and this is for one pound I did show you guys picking this one up. So I got Gungo. This is for £1.99. Red peas. Saying £1.99. They didn't have the larger packet of Maggi. So I just picked up these small sachets. So I think three is for £1. And then small, small spice, spice bun. If I'm not mistaken, I think this one is for 60p or something like that. So as promised, this is the next portion of the video. So all the vegetable ground provisions, um, orange and stuff like that came to £20.50p. And then the 
tall guy gave Danrik like two extra what you call it stangerine so yeah got those free and then he just gave this to Ricky free as well so bought time and then he gave us one additional bundle of time but yeah everything in this section came to 24.50p and then also I got some my goodness pigstail so pigstail I think it was like two tails together cut up small was for like six pound 29p I think it's about that I double check my statement well not my statement Ricky's statement but I think he paid six pound 29p for this one and then also got Cowfoot this man have a newborn obsession with Cowfoot so yeah he got Cowfoot and then a small well it's not that small portion of beef liver yeah cow liver yeah same thing so yeah together i think this was for six pound so the cow foot and the liver was for six pound and then as i was saying to you guys yeah as i was saying to you guys i wanted to get ham but guys this is the only like this is the largest portion of ham they had at sainsbury i had to get this size last year but i ended up ended up getting like two of this but i just want to go either mark and spencer or marson's just to see if they have like a full length portion available if not i'll have to get a next portion of this size as well but yeah this one was for how much was it oh my goodness i can't see the price hmm i don't know how much i paid for this one but i got the joint leg the chicken the gammon and then all of that together with cheese and double cream came to 25 pound yeah i think that's right so this pork joint was for seven pound eighty five. To be honest, I thought it was for the four pound, but I misread that. It came to the seven pound thirty. No, not thirty five, eighty five. Seven pound eighty five for this space. But I feel like it's a good size as well. So just in case I don't get the next portion of uh, gammon, I can always use you know patios a piece of pork as well and then i got this extra large chicken this was for six pounds so yeah this is for dinner tomorrow so you guys this is everything that we got in our weekly shop today i'm just going to go ahead add everything up and then i'll include it in the bottom section for you guys all right guys so that's everything we got in this week's shopping hope if anything you guys found this video insightful and as usual guys don't forget to go ahead like comment and subscribe subscribe yes. please and thanks so um to be honest we didn't show everything that we picked up oh, like ricky got yes. ricky got patty and like one patty was for 2.50 but noodles. yeah and we went to the chop chopstick Oh, and yes. picked up dinner but yeah that that wasn't the that's not for the price here for this video this video is like a jamaican food haul mm -hmm. so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then take care and bye for now yeah. bye yeah. bye yeah. bye yeah. <laughs> bye yeah. Uh oh. Hi. Bye, guys.